Yo guys, what's up? We got Thursday night football. I got three plays for you guys in this video. We will get into them in just a moment. But first, guys, we have been killing it on the channel. We just cashed right here on Monday night football. And then today in NBA Wednesday, we are two for three right now. The third guy is still going. So, so far we are 4-0. Oh. We'll see how the last guy goes. But make sure to drop a like on this video. I would really appreciate that. And please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. I post these videos every single day for you guys for NBA, college football nfl so make sure to subscribe so don't miss any of these free picks and we have been cashing on this channel so you're gonna want to see the free picks every single day so make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, but let's hop into the video so real quick we did cash uh last weekend on college football saturday we hit two four mans in vip and then we also hit a three-man demon play in the nfl and then monday night football we were one yard away from hitting for another 12.5 x play we were one yard away so vip has been crushing it last week we went up six units in vip and again we were one yard away from going up 18 and a half units guys so do not miss out we have a great weekend of football here make sure you get in vip i made it completely free for you guys this year in vip so you guys can get an entire month of vip for completely free you do not have to spend your own money on vip which a lot of people charge I am not charging. I want to help you guys out and help you make money as you know low cost as humanly possible. So all you have to do to get it for free, go down to the links below. I'll put it in the description. I'll put it in the comments. Download this app, Parlay Play, right here. I know most of you guys don't have it, so you all really watching this video, 90% of you guys should be able to get in VIP for a month for free right now. Go download Parlay Play. Make sure you use code GHOSTLOCKS right here. It's all caps, no spaces, exactly like this. Make sure to type in code GHOSTLOCKS, deposit at least 10 bucks, and then drop a comment on this video saying, hey, I used your code, and I will send you guys the link to the free month of VIP. So it's that easy. You literally just have to download and deposit at least 10 bucks on the app using code GHOSTLOCKS, and you get a free month of VIP. If you use the links down below, it will automatically make sure you have the code GHOSTLOCKS right there, but just make sure you're actually using that code. You could just go download it from the App Store as well, but make sure you type in that code and actually have that in before you deposit your 10 bucks so that you actually get the deposit match and the free month of VIP, which by the way, you do get a hundred dollar deposit match. So I highly recommend to just deposit the full hundred. So you get the full hundred dollar deposit match. You guys can get a hundred dollars for free and a free month of VIP where you get text messages every single day directly to your phone of I like it text you guys links you click the link and it shows you all of the screenshots of all the plays to put in for that day you guys can see how much money we're up profit hundred dollar betters in vip if you put a hundred bucks on every play this football season you're up forty seven hundred dollars right now in vip and again one yard away last weekend from six grand so make sure you get in vip guys you do not want to miss out on that but let's hop into the plays so the first play we have We'll talk about the Jets first because I only have one player on the Jets. We're taking Aaron Rodgers over one and a half passing touchdowns. This demon play right here, the fact that they prize fix keeps putting up demon plays for one and a half passing touchdowns for quarterbacks is a gold mine. You guys can see right here. I don't know if we actually did it in this one. We probably, yeah, we did. So Bo Nix over one and a half passing touchdowns in this demon play right here. It is the way to go. So I love taking these demon plays. So obviously, guys. Be careful and realize that we do have lower odds of hitting this because it's a demon play. However, that means it pays out more, which we obviously love to see. But if this does not hit and he only gets one touchdown, it's because it's a lower odds to hit higher payout, right? But I still like the play regardless. So you guys can see out of his last four games right here, he's been playing really well. He had two, two, one, and two. So he only missed against Pitt right here in these last four games. He missed against Denver as well, but I'm really focused on these last four games where, you know, the Jets have really started getting on a roll here. And he only missed against Pittsburgh where uh, Pittsburgh is a really tough matchup. So that does not shock me. He only had one right there. Houston, on the other hand, not that tough of tough of a matchup, at least as far as as uh passing touchdowns go so houston actually does hold their opponents to a decent amount you know decently low amount of passing yards but when it comes to passing touchdowns they give up a ton like if you, you guys could go back through every single game and majority probably 80 maybe even 90 percent, but definitely at least 80 percent of quarterbacks playing the texans throw at least two touchdowns aaron Rodgers in a prime time game at the jets as well by the way i love 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 aaron Rodgers to throw two touchdowns not to mention houston actually on top of giving up a ton of passing touchdowns the reason they give up a ton of 
passing touchdowns is because they're pretty good on the goal line. If a team gets within the five yard line, the 10 yard line and tries to hand the ball off and just power right through you and get in that end zone with the running back, Houston's actually pretty good at stopping that. So it kind of forces teams into a passing situation to actually score a touchdown. So I like Aaron Rodgers two touchdowns. And again, for a demon play, I'll take that every time. I'll take Aaron Rodgers in a primetime game to throw two touchdowns when it's a demon play. I absolutely love that right there. So that's going to be the first play. And then the second play, since we're taking a demon play, we're going to take a goblin play. So it's going to kind of bring the payout a little bit down, but this one is easier to hit. So you guys can kind of see by mixing these two, two together, it kind of makes it a normal play, right? We're going to be taking uh, Fairbairn over one and a half field goals made. So we could take him over fantasy score right here. And he is, by the way, one of when it comes to fantasy score and fantasy kickers, he's one of the best kicker kickers in the league right now. One of the highest scoring kickers. So he kicks a ton of field goals. I swear to God, this Texans team kicks at least like three field goals a game, it seems like. Um, but playing the Jets right here, the Jets give up top 10 most field goal attempts and most field goals so far this season to teams. So they force teams to kick a lot of field goals, not to mention, um, by the way, we are taking the one and a half field goals, right? Because this is a high line of eight and a half. I'd rather take this because of what I'm about to say, which is the Texans offense has been good this season so far. However, Nico Collins, Stefan Diggs, they are both out. They are not going to be in this game. We are yet to see a Texans offense really play an entire game throughout without those two wide receivers. So how well are they going to be able to move the ball? I'm not sure. However, I do think CJ Stroud, Joe Mixon, they'll be able to move the ball. I'm not worried about them stalling out and not even making it to field goal range. However, I like this play a lot because I think they will be able to make it into field goal range. But when they get there... It, they're going to have trouble actually getting the ball in the end zone. I think they're going to have a little bit of trouble, and they have already been kicking the most field goals in the NFL. I think they're going to continue that here in this game, kick another probably three field goals in this game, but we are going to take over one and a half just in case their offense really does stall out and they're having trouble even getting it past that 50-yard line. So it's kind of a safer play uh, just because eight and a half is a high score, and we are yet to see this team play without both those you know, top wide receivers. So we're going to take him over one and a half field goals made right there. And again, since we already took Aaron Rodgers demon play, it's perfectly fine that we take a goblin play right here to kind of balance that out. So the third play we're going to take, we're going to be taking Dalton Schultz over his receiving yards line. So his receiving yards is only at 42 and a half, which seems really, really low to me. Obviously out of these last five games, the graph doesn't look fantastic. He's only hit in one game right here. However, if you look at these other four games, he's still pretty consistent. He's getting 34, you know, 30 yards a game on average, which is a very consistent line. You guys can see how consistent he is, which I do like that. That is what, something I'm looking for in these kind of plays. But obviously, like I just previously mentioned, when you take out Stefan Diggs, when you take out Nico Collins, CJ Stroud, he has to throw to somebody. Obviously, Tank Dell is going to get a good amount of targets. You got guys off the bench like John Mechie is going to get a couple targets at wide receiver. But I I do think the targets to tight end will bump up in this game. Not to mention the Jets have not been great at defending tight ends so far this season. If you go back like the last four games, the opposing tight end is always either, you know, the number one leading receiver on that uh, team in that game, or they're the number two receiver in that game. So the Jets consistently give up, you know, the first or second most yards in the game to tight ends. So I like that a lot. I think the Texans are going to try to run the ball a lot in this game. And if they do run the ball a lot this game, don't be surprised if they go back to Joe Mixon, pull the ball, play action over the top to Dalton Schultz at least two, three times in this game. That would not surprise me at all. I would be shocked if they don't do that. So I like Dalton Schultz a lot over that 42 and a half yards right there. So that's going to be the third and final play, guys. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, guys. Again, I am posting these videos every day for you guys. Sometimes at midnight, 1 a.m., I'm grinding these videos out. So I it really would mean a lot if you guys can drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I'd really appreciate that. And then last but not least, again, just to make sure, guys, do go get in VIP, okay? It's, again, I made it free for you guys, so I want you guys to take advantage of it. There's no reason, you know, to do all this work for you guys to not take advantage. So I really do want you to take advantage. Again, you get text messages every day with all the plays, so it's super easy for you guys, super quick and easy to sign up. All you have to do is deposit at least 10 bucks 
on Parlay Play with code GhostLocks. Drop a comment and I'll send you that link to the free month of VIP. If you're already on Parlay Play, you guys can still get in. You would just have to go to Sleeper or Chalkboard, download one of those apps with promo code GHOST. So that's the only difference is it's not Ghost Locks on these apps. It's code GHOST. All caps right here, obviously, deposit at least 10 bucks, drop a comment, I'll send you the link to the free month of VIP. So same deal over here. Basically, just use a promo code on one of the apps, drop a comment, and I'll send you that link to the free month of VIP. Very, very simple stuff. Uh, but other than that, guys, these are the plays for the game on Thursday night. Good luck with all your bets, and I'll catch you in the next video.